Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about Maré series. Before we start, I want to thank everyone that watched our previous videos. You have been amazing. We have reached 5,000 views in less than two months and a half. It's, it's a quite amazing number. If you like those kind of contents, please guys, subscribe to the channel. Besides that, comments in the comment section are very welcomed. In this video, we're going to talk about Maré series. What is Maré series, Fabrizio Matos? Maré, uh, well, Maré started as a, a kind of lecture recital series at the Embassy of Brazil. The idea was to offer to the British public some new ideas, fresh ideas about what Brazilian music actually is. We've done two or three events and we had to stop because of pandemics and then it became something else. Fabrizio Matos um, asked me first and back in those concerts to uh, compose two pieces, actually a piece and a crazy idea, an opera, a potential opera. Immersive opera. Immersive opera, that's yeah. the, the best title for it. But then the pandemic arrived and we had to manage another way to deliver the content that we were expecting, right? Fabrizio suggested the, the embassy. Yeah, actually the, the, the embassy suggested to me to, to, film to make it become something on video. Cool. But it wasn't during the, 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 this crazy period in which like all the musicians were posting videos, like all these videos with little little squares in it. And I'm not so aesthetically fond of yeah. it. Yeah. And then th then I was talking to Paula Hasse, who is the, the cultural attaché at the Brazilian Embassy. And I suggested that we did something a, a bit more interesting, aesthetically mm. speaking. Yeah. And that's why I invited Bernardo to take part of it because I, I, I knew that apart from being a composer, he was also a cinematographer. And um, it was a perfect combination to have like a person who understood about music and who could actually uh, translate that into the language of cinema. When the moment appeared and we all, um, we, we kind of watched all the musicians doing the same thing, the, the, the possibility of if you're transferring the image, uh, uh, the concert for image, for video, mm. you don't need to just put a camera and perform the concert as you were intended to, to do it in the first place. Once you transport uh, the, the content from, from, from a concert or for a performance to the video, it becomes something else. Yeah. A new layer of information arrives. As it was the case with Mares, the, yeah. the fact that this is, this is not a fixed aesthetics, let's say. True. The, the aesthetics of music performance are much more open than people imagine. And that's exactly what we've done with Mares. So yeah. we, we, we just exploded all the concepts of performance. Okay, so let's bring from performance what we need from performance. Let's bring yeah. from cinema what we need, we need from, from cinema. cinema. And, and let's then we create something, yeah. very technically yeah. speaking. It, it's music, it's cinema, it's theater. Yeah. It's everything together. Yeah. So, and I think this kind of flexibility is what we need for performative arts um, nowadays. Uh, when we talk about Quintal, the whole yeah. concept of Quintal is... Yeah, Quintal, well, the, it's very important to say, I think, that uh, the, the concept that we created for Quintal, yeah. for Backyard, is something quite abstract. Like, we, 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 we took some elements and put in Sala Brasil, that's a 19th century yeah, place. Yes. So, as, as we just mentioned, Quintal is from Mario Ferraro. Quintal was composed by Mario Ferraro, and uh, I've been playing this piece with Lucas Jordan for quite a while. Yeah. It's something that it's always a big success because it is a very heavy, yeah. heavy, heavy metal piece. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, it's and it's something that it's like I, I wanted I wanted to start the mares with it. Yeah. Because it's in it the has flesh, everything right? in it. Yeah, yeah. It has everything. Everything. That is an All the identity of Brazilian music. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I, if we. If we if there is an initial point for Mares, I, I, I would never consider any other piece. And then 
gonna ask the girls. We have like Ishwan uh, performing alto flute on that piece, uh, Becky and Mina. They three did a phenomenal yeah. work, which is a very hard piece to perform, right? It's, Technically, it's incredibly hard. Can yeah. You imagine that? No, there's and I have to translate that to the image. If you have watched the film, that very close, those closes after after uh, the, the the moment of and those very quick intense. cuts that they exactly. Had to tell like the first time I saw that, it was like, wow. Uh, yeah, and and uh, that's mm -hmm. not something that when I was sketching the film, I thought, is that too much? But at the same time, when you think about it, they are performing that. Each one of those phrases, one of those, their three is doing at their pace, at that pace yeah. in that moment. Yeah. So it's quite exhausting and demanding. Mm -hmm. And once you are dealing with those cuts, as, as a viewer, as a, as a the person that is experiencing that kind of content, you are leaving that kind of that material yeah. in the flesh, yeah, right? Exactly. Actually, one of my favorite moments in all the all the first episode yeah. is the beginning of Revoada. Oh yeah. Because you have the same scene <laughs> that you have in the introduction, basically. Yeah. The, the, the Sala Brasil empty, etc. You don't expect people coming like, out of the in, columns. Out of the auto, yeah. yeah. And it's like all three at the same time, and then not at the same time. Each one in the middle is like a flash, like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then, it's like a, and then they are there, and they're like, "What? How did they?" And the, yeah, yeah, it's magic and that editing and everything. But the end of Hevoade is something that still gives me goosebumps. I've watched it like two hundred times already, and every single time I watch, it's like when that that light comes in. And there's this, you know, I, 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 I was talking to Ishwan about that, that it's like when you're uh, taking off with an airplane and yeah. you're like turbulence, turbulence, and then all of a sudden they're yeah. like that. It's exactly like that. The end of Hevoani yeah. is like, it's imagine flight. The, the, it flying, flying, yeah. flying, and then it's, it's like peaceful, like above yeah. the clouds, it's everything true. is peaceful. And then the, the, the way, the very del delicate ending is very cool as well. The next piece, Breno Blau, the, yes. this, this piece that uh, is for oboe and piano. Uh, ah, beautiful piece too. And actually, uh, the pastoral, well, apart from the, from the walking in, yeah, from, from Luis, Luis yeah. coming from there, it's such a little incredible here. Um, pastoral is the most concert-like. Yeah, true, 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 true. It was meant to be, it was meant to yeah, be, right? It, it was considered. We wanted to, to have like that kind of thing too, as well. Not, not because, even that, because sometimes the material, the piece kind of asks for that, those kinds of things. It's the universe of the piece. If the piece asks for that kind of aesthetics, it makes sense to, to deal yeah. with it. It's not that something that we, we, sh we need to deny all the time. We need to reinvent the wheel all yeah, the time. It, it, it if, it's, if it a, brings a the best. Layout. Exactly, yeah. exactly. It's such a cheerful. Two it's an amazing and piece. Louise and it's only the third, the, and third, the third movement, right? The, yeah. the rest of the sonata is wonderful as well. Uh, we could, uh, unfortunately, because of, uh, of time constraint, we, we Play couldn't, all we couldn't yeah, include the whole sonata. Every time I listen to it, it takes me to the oh, northeastern yeah. Brazil. Yeah. Like it's so much in it, and yeah. it's so much a classical piece, still a classical piece, and still a Brazilian piece. Brazilian, yeah. And then we go to the Noturno. The Noturno para Chopin. Noturno yeah, para Chopin. It's a special piece in terms of music in general. It's a, yeah. it's a music that's a moment in itself. But we had a lot of discussion about this piece. And my idea was actually... <laughs> I remember that. I remember was to, that. Was to go, okay, so we are going crazy statically with yeah. Mares. Let's have one static camera. All the time. That, that, that's the one next to Clelia. Yeah. With Inigo there, very far yeah. away. And that's it for 13 minutes. Yeah. Because yeah. this is what we are living now. We are yeah. like that. That was my idea of creating yeah. this aesthetic parallel. Yeah. But then Bernardo came with his expertise in cinema, etc. Okay, so we decided that it could be dated. This kind of idea. No, I don't think that it's a bad idea conceptually, and it's something that we approach it through the series. That sometimes I mentioned to Fabrizio. Listen, we have a. a Photography is some, something very important for Mares. We cannot uh, just uh, think that it's, it's something that it's, it's not enough. It is enough. It is enough. It is sometimes a beautiful frame is something that can grab your attention for a long period of time. But then once again, 
It was about translating the music. There were some moments, especially, again, if you're watching it, uh, when she plays the, 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 the slow arpeggio, yeah. that moment you need to see yeah, her hand yeah. and you need to go there inside that world. And some moments when Inigo, you know, makes a dialogue with her, with the accordion, you 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 send, you feel the sense of curiosity of okay that 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 frame that that photography is beautiful but I wanna I wanna see what the coordinates is doing now the music asks you to take a look at uh, an ego in those moments and that that kind of level of uh, dialogue between yeah. them yeah. but I was very proud that we did that because on soundtracks usually the image dictates what we are doing with the music mm. on Mares the music dictates what the image is doing. And then, well, what, what can we say after? I was thinking when I was creating the narration, the, the text for the narration, <laughs> like, what to say? Yeah. And then the, the, the solution was, okay, so let's put, like, words, and let, because the next yeah. piece would be his pingu, right? Yeah. And then, okay, I'll just say water, and yeah. to, be it, to, to be as optimistic as possible. Mm -hmm. And then, and then the, the wonderful sound of water. Carla did a wonderful yeah, job. Yeah, well... The, Beautiful. The transition yeah. from water to piano and then make the piano yeah. sound like water and make it, yeah, it's a yeah. very, very seductive That's performance, true. isn't it? Another enigmatic piece by Lucy uh, Ushua. Lucy Ushua. Beautiful yeah. piece, very uh, cheerful as well. Uh, cheerful uh, and and, and it, all of these gestures, gestures in the piano, they grab your attention. Yeah. And together, yeah. along with the performance of Carla, Carla you, you're, there's a magnetic image mm. that... Yeah. Makes you you want to yeah. watch it and know what's going on. And the, 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 the last the last image of Carla that's like the hair, the yeah. Hair. And then after that we have Villa Lobos, right? Yeah. That's like, and then what to do with Villa Lobos? The first song is not very well known. Yeah. And the the manuscript of this arrangement had just been found like some months ago yeah. by Umberto Mori. And um, there's just one thing, Humberto Morin. Uh, just Humberto for, is a great, for those that uh, don't know, Humberto Morin is a great guitarist in Rio de Guitarist and researcher yeah. of Brazilian music, probably one of the top researchers of Villa Lobos. Villa Lobos and Brazilian yeah, music, music culture yeah. in general. True, he, true, true. He is a really, really still good for the, Still for the original Mares, for the lecture recital. Yes, yes. And I, I, I thought no, we had we have to include it, and then I I included the Canção yeah. da as yeah. well. That was Lucas' arrangement. Yeah. And yeah, and then we we, we finished with Villa Lobos. That's very it's, it's a very fit, it's a fitting symbolic. ending, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because Villa Lobos is, uh, in many ways, uh, I don't know if, uh, but it's it's a central figure of Brazilian mu concert music, concert music. Yeah. I'm not saying music in general, but as a Popular music. popular music. It's a central figure. He has defined a lot of the Brazilian music, and um, and, and very early on, in a moment that Brazilian music was kind of a, what is Brazilian music, and Villa Lobos kind of almost took it by himself and defined what uh, at least a lot of possibilities. Yeah. He, he proposed a lot of possibilities. The first one, the well, now uh, Bernardo's work, the first one. The, the editing and the, the, the idea for the layout for this completely ethereal universe, it was yeah. absolutely amazing. And the, yeah, was very the different proud. levels, yeah. but, uh, that was absolutely... Yeah. And then Gabriela, well, the, the truth is that we had one rehearsal. Yeah. I remember. Half an hour I before remember. recording. And that was absolutely incredible. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, yeah. And not just record record in a completely a complicated layout because the way i was playing with her i couldn't look at her watch her yes yes, watch yes, her. yes 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 <coughs> both pieces if you realize because exactly. on canção do poeta gabriela doesn't watch the the, the ensemble as well and it, from the performer's point of view the instrumentalist it was something that we we had to plan our playing yeah. and we had to plan our shadows as well yeah that's important to say, and then there, there are three levels that for people who watch this, yeah. there are three levels. I, I I don't want to tell people what to see, but the the levels of the reality, the level of dream, and the level of like something in between. You yeah. know, like so it's it's 
concert. I, I imagine when I was yeah. conceiving that that layout, layout yeah. I was imagining that it's reality behind the screen. Um, uh, the, the reality of the concert, so yeah. it's concert, is music performance, and then the screen is theater, yeah. and in front of the screen is, is opera. Uh, yeah. Last but not least, if you want to watch Pares, please go to the Brazilian Embassy in London uh, YouTube channel. You have there the link, I will post it here. You are looking there right now in the screen. And uh, is there anything else you would like to say, Fabrizio? Uh, I would like to invite everyone to watch the next episodes as well. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They, they will next episode. They will be available uh, in the next weeks. Yeah. The second episode is a journey through rhythm, so it's yeah. an exploration of Brazilian dances on a solo guitar. So I will be playing all the pieces. It's a single take of 20-25 minutes yeah. with dances from all over Brazil. And the third one, the third one, is a journey through. Timber. Timber, yes. So it's something that to explore the colors of the sound. Yeah. And in the second and in the third, there isn't only Brazilian music. Yeah. And I know that this will sound very weird to some people yeah. who are expecting to have, but there is a reason for people to think why there is non-Brazilian music in a sure. project of Brazilian music. So Wait and see, guys. Nice. Wait and see. I won't, won't say, I won't say much. Uh, I'll leave to Fabrizio what, what, what to expect yeah. from Mares third, second and third episode. Thank you guys a lot. If you are with us till this very moment, I think that this is a, a good extension to Mares. After you have watched Mares, you can come back here. Or if you haven't, you can watch this video and go watch Mares, vice versa. Whatever you prefer. Yes. If tell us what you thought. About exactly. It. Yeah. Leave comments yeah. uh, here in my channel or there in the Brazilian Embassy. Yeah. Both. It will be great. Please subscribe to the channel, guys. And I hope to see you guys soon. Okay? Thank you very much.